Rick Taylor. The speech is the Pathways 101. Please welcome Rick Taylor. When you think of the word pathways, what comes to mind? Well, if you're a member of Toastmasters who's been in this program for more than a year, there's a good chance that the word pathways comes freighted with a certain degree of fret, a certain degree of worry and concern. Because Pathways is an entirely new education program. It is wholly different than what has come before. Madam, uh, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I have good news for you. It is so simple to get started in Pathways. I can distill the process for you in five simple steps. And that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm also going to share a little bit of insight on some of the tools and resources that you can benefit from by accessing Pathways and utilizing it. What's the first step here? The first step is to simply go to the Toastmasters International website. Now, most of us should be familiar with the Toastmasters International website. It's toastmasters.org. And if you forget that, all you need to remember is Toastmasters. You can just Google that in, and this is going to be the first thing that pops up when you search. It's as simple as logging into the Toastmasters International website and then clicking on Pathways on the top left there. That's how you get started. You're going to be asked to answer some questions as part of an assessment. The assessment is designed to give you a better sense of what you're looking to get out of Toastmasters and also to give Toastmasters International a better idea of how it can best meet your needs. Step two, choose a path. It's as simple as completing those questions that are part of the assessment and then choosing a path. Now, as you can see on the screen, there are 11 paths currently on offer through Pathways. That might sound a little intimidating. How do you make up your mind when you have 11 paths? Well, that's where the assessment comes in. Because by just answering some of these basic fundamental questions about public speaking, leadership, where you want to go in your life, you will, you will be given a, an informed recommendation from Toastmasters International, which you can accept, but you're not required to. If you want to opt for a different path than you're recommended, that's totally fine. Step three, so you've chosen a path and you're ready to get started. So what you do next is just log in to Basecamp. What is Basecamp? Basecamp is essentially the home page for everything Pathways related. Your education curriculum, all the various tools and resources, evaluation forms, badges, which are sort of well done in a virtual sense. You've got it all here in Basecamp. It can be intimidating if you don't know that everything starts with Basecamp because look at the screen here and you can see there are multiple options here. You've got choose your path on the left, the navigator on the right. The thing to remember, the, the thing to remember is go to Basecamp. So click on that and then you, you're taken to the main Basecamp homepage here where you can see all these various options. And just remember to click access my path. That's really where the education curriculum is located. That's the thing that you should remember here is this, it always goes back to your path. Once you're there, you then, step five, you just open the curriculum. You can see here that my curriculum is presentation mastery. So once I click open curriculum, I get a nice overview of all of my projects. Now look how simple level one is in Pathways. You have three projects. Now for those of you that are new to Toastmasters and didn't have the benefit of experiencing the old school legacy education program, you missed out on a physical manual that asked you to complete 10 different speech projects. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You had to complete 10 speech projects before you got your first award in Toastmasters. One of the things that Toastmasters International realized that people needed 
recognition much more frequently. And so in retooling their education system, they had this in mind, which is why there's simply three different projects here. The icebreaker, evaluation and feedback, researching and presenting. Now, what happens when you complete all three of those projects? You get your certificate of completion, which is really, really cool. But what I want to do with my remaining time is share a little bit about what's inside Pathways. So each project asks you to take a skills assessment survey before you give your speech. And the idea behind this is Toastmasters International wants you to be aware of what your comfort level is with the project that you're about to do and also just how you feel about public speaking in general. There's also videos, which I find very helpful, that show you fellow Toastmasters giving the speech that you're working on. So if you're brand new to Toastmasters and you're confused by this concept of an icebreaker, you can watch somebody give an icebreaker. And once you see somebody do it, it's much easier than to understand what is expected of you and how to do it yourself. There's also some helpful hints here on how to approach putting together a speech. Now, does the idea of putting together a speech intimidate you? Do you think, gosh, that's a lot of work. I don't even know where to begin. Well, never fear. Pathways is here. Look at this. You've got write it out. Remember your outline. Connect with the audience. There's all kinds of nice, helpful tips. And this is, I'm just scratching the surface here. This is a five to seven minute speech. If I had a half hour, I could really go to town on you guys here and, and, and share all kinds of details. I know a lot of you are, are breathing a sigh of relief right now. <laughs> So I mentioned that before you give your speech, there is an assessment that you need to take. Well, after you, take your, after you give your speech, there's another assessment survey that you need to take. And that is a way of doing a compare and contrast with your level of comfort and how you feel about your progress. So that is being tracked over the course of your time in, in Pathways. So when all is said and done, you're going to be able to look back and you're going to be able to chart your progress. You're going to be able to see, hey, look at how I'm responding to these surveys. I'm becoming more comfortable. I'm becoming more confident here. The other thing that makes the, the surveys important is this is how Toastmasters International tracks what we do with our progress. So if we want to be recognized for our award, for our speeches that we're given, we have to engage in pathways. Otherwise, Toastmasters International is simply not going to know what we're doing. It's as simple as that. So again, three speech projects as part of level one, that is not a tall order, particularly when you compare that with 10 speech projects from the legacy program. So for those of you who might be a little intimidated by Pathways, those of you that are coming to it from the older legacy program, you're having fewer speech projects to do. And those of you that are just brand new to Toastmasters, will you have the benefit of having your very first experience with Toastmasters be a personalized, interactive experience that you can take anywhere. Under the old legacy program, you had to take physical manuals everywhere you, everywhere you went if you wanted to work on your Toastmasters material. With Pathways, it's all online. So anywhere you have access to a computer and the internet, you have access to your education program. And there you go. It's as easy as pie to, to achieve a cert certificate of completion. And I'm so pleased that this club had 17 level completions last year. And that was the second best in the district. And I know we're gonna do even better this year. Right? <laughs> PPE, yes. Lulu Ali, exactly. And with that, thank you very much for your time. Madam Toastmaster.